Hello, hello, my friends. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to my face and my card making space and another Stamp Timber exclusive video. This one is with Mama Elephant, one of my faves, as always. For those not aware, Stamp Timber exclusive limited edition sets are brands that have collaborated with Simon Says Stamp to create a set that is limited edition while supplies last one and done. When they're sold out, they're gone, they're not restocked. However, the brands have tons of really, really cute, fabulous, amazing products. I'm almost positive that Mama Elephant is releasing sets that actually like kind of coordinate and can mix and match with this set. I saw sneak peeks online, etc. Um, so I will have a link to the Mama Elephant brand in the description box below the video along with everything else definitely worth checking out because their stuff is so cute. I have made it very clear. I have been a huge mama elephant collector <laughs> for many years. I just love their stuff. So anyway, I'm running out of time as always. So let's get into the card making. And like I said, I'll have all the links below to check out and links to all the other supplies I used and then just keep watching and I will show you guys how I made these cards. So this is the mama elephant cappy holiday set. They're capybaras. Seriously. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Don't ask me why. To me, capybaras are just basically great big old guinea pigs. I don't know. That's how I just picture them. So I took some of Simon's smooth white cardstock, put it in my Misty, inked up the stamps with Simon's intense black ink, a alcohol marker friendly ink. And then I used... um one of the placement guides i showed this in just my last video a recent video um to protect the cardstock so i could re-stamp just the individual little capybara without having to clean off my stamp you know and once everything was stamped right this moment this is real time and then i'm going to super speed this up i'm going to speed up this entire video i i can't say it enough how much i am scrambling <laughs> to try and get things edited and uploaded in time so anywho I used my Spectrum Noir tri-blends to do all of this coloring. I will have a link at the end of this video to my playlist that has all the videos in it so far using these markers. I like them. Um, I've just been, re and especially lately because I'm doing, you know, tons of coloring, lots of line art images that need to be colored. I like using the Spectrum Noirs because kind of the thought process is somewhat taken care of because one marker's got light medium dark shades within within reason and yeah anything anything for convenience as a win in my book but you can use whatever you want you know copic markers etc and i kept the coloring simple so i colored all of these little dudes the same you know colors doing my darkest to lightest as always and then for everything else, I was inspired by some pattern paper. And the pattern paper I used is no longer available. I technically have a link to it, but I don't even know if there's like any left in stock. It's the Doodlebug Winter Wonderland collection that came out. I honestly don't even know. That's another thing I collect for those that aren't aware. I, I have certain little collections that I curate. We will call me a professional curator, aka hoarder, whatever. I collect doodlebug love it always have always will it's the cutesy i love cutesy so anyhow the winter wonderland collection came out i honestly don't remember i don't remember how long ago it came out it was probably a couple of years maybe longer and yeah i've been hoarding it and haven't been using it but as i was you know pulling out more of my christmas supplies because the christmas series is coming these pattern papers were in there and I was like, Ooh, I need to use them. So that's what I did. I used a, a, just a couple of them, but the colors, especially like, and that's generally my biggest thing. You know, people give me grief about not using, um, the different pattern papers and ephemera and stuff that I like to buy. And I used to show in haul videos. I haven't done one of those in a long time, but my biggest thing is I take the inspiration from it. You know, whether I use it or not, I like, like the, this color combo, totally inspired by the pattern papers. And just different little elements. Same with the little tree wafer dies I'm going to use. Those were inspired by the pattern papers too. So 
I, I, I enjoy my collections, you know, they're fun. I pull them out, I pet everything, you know, and then I put it back. <laughs> Anywho, that's what inspired the colors. So I went, you know, a little non-traditional and just had fun with it. And you just, you can't go wrong with Melmet Elephant. Seriously. Like, again, it's the cutesy. There's something about just not only their stamp images, they do, you know, their wafer die sets and everything. And I just absolutely adore them. And these little guys are just so cute. <laughs> So once I was done um, coloring everything in, I'm going to use my tonic aqua shimmer pen, the clear glitter one. And you always want to do stuff like that first, the, either that or if you're going to do glossy accents, etc. You want to add those first if you're planning on white, adding white gel pen, which I was going to use my white gel pen for highlights. So you want to do the shimmer gloss, whatever it is first. You always want to do your white gel pen last. Because if you do your white gel pen first, and then if I was to go over it with this um, shimmer pen or shimmer brush, it dissolves the white gel pen. It just eats it in a sense. It'll smear it. It'll just dissolve it. It's the weirdest thing. But obviously the jelly roll pens and pretty much every white gel pen I've ever used, they're somewhat water reactive. So you always want to do them last even if you do things and I've shown it in videos I'll do like glossy accents and that sort of a thing you apply it let it completely dry and then you can go over it with the white gel pen if you want to add like extra highlights that sort of a thing but yeah white gel pen always last so that's what I did trimmed everything out and then I pulled out the CZ design um Mary wafer dies these have been out for years still one of my favorites all oh, the CZ design I would say I collect those, but they're part of the Simon brand, so these do get sent to me, and the ones that don't, I've literally purchased, because, yeah, Kathy knows. I, I told her right out that, and I was like, I stalk you. <laughs> She's one of my favorite people. Anywho, I die cut it from white cardstock and black, layered them together. I didn't end up using those die cut snowflakes. I'll link to them, because they're fabulous. They're the Harmony snowflakes. Those have also been out for a couple years, at least, but... I didn't end up using them. I'll just save them for another project. And then these tags, I have had in my stash for quite some time. Same thing. I don't think these are available anymore. However, there is a CZ Design nesting tags wafer die set that has many sizes of wafer dies in a tag shape that's like the exact same as this. And you could just die cut like Ranger Craft Heavy Stock and get the same same thing you know or you can get different sizes which is fun so I'll link to those instead so I added a strip of the pattern paper to the bottom of my tags and then I die cut scraps of different colors of cardstock using the mod tree wafer die this came out I think just last year I think and I adhered them to my tags so I adhered the pattern paper first and then I adhered these little mod trees and I'm just using my craft tacky glue that I have in a little Gina K precision bottle which is perfect for little little finicky die cuts like this and then I also pulled out some ribbon and because I just when it comes to tags they, it, it needs something I can't leave the tops of them just blank it drives me insane so it's either got to be you know some ribbon or some baker's twine or anything like that and these could be just tags like I prefer sticking them on cards that's just what I do but you could just keep them as just little tags you know and attach them to a gift or a little gift bag things like that because they're adorable but I like making mine into cards so I took a couple more pieces of the pattern papers and I just trimmed them into strips and adhered them together set them aside, zoomed out a bit, and now you guys can get a tiny glimpse of the chaos. When I say that I'm, you know, there's chaos off screen, you can't really see it, that's what I'm talking about. Like just piles of things, stuff's everywhere, it's knocked over on the floor, I'm diving through piles of things trying to find, you know, what I'm working on. <laughs> especially right now, especially this month, it's just constant chaos, but is what it is. So I stamped one of the sentiments from the set onto the insides of my cards, which is some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And my cards are top folding A2 white note cards. And then that little pink strip of pattern paper that I used for the tags, I just snipped it and like cut it in half and then adhered it right below the sentiment. And then these little individual capybaras I'm adhering to the insides of the cards. And oh, 
authors. I just, I, I don't know. I, they're so adorable. I just, I love them. <laughs> so then for my card fronts, I adhered those pattern paper strips that I had adhered together. And then I just like tore off the bottoms, gives it a little texture. And then I'm going to adhere the tags to the card bases. And then once those are adhered off camera, I ended up peeling up the, the larger stamped image with the the Christmas tree I peeled it very carefully and just bumped it up a little bit so that I could adhere my sentiment because it was just things weren't working so I had popped those onto the tags with foam squares and then adhered my sentiments just again with craft tacky glue and then had matching embellishments of course I had matching embellishments I had uh, some nope those are the wrong ones the perfume bottle uh, embellishments from Trinity stamps just pretty purple so pretty so put a few of those onto each of these cards adhered them into place with dabs of craft hockey glue and then like i mentioned earlier i will turn the flashlight on my phone to show you guys the sparkle on these images because it's just love you know i've i've raved about the nouveau aqua shimmer pens since the get-go you know since they first came out and i just i love them i love them they're subtle but when the light hits them super pretty so like i mentioned in the intro i will have a link below the video to my blog post i will have a supply list with links to all the supplies i used you just got to expand the description box directly below the video and all the info links etc will be there so you can check that out below if you are interested and then in the blog post i'll have the photos of the cards and picture links to everything it's a lot easier to navigate and as always Thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my videos, for thumbs upping and commenting. That helps boost the engagement and tells the robot overlords you guys like what you're seeing and helps me out a ton and I very much appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. And yeah, I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.